I said, sit down. I said, if you think this way, you're going to be a loser. You're never going to make it because there's no maybe. You got to get up and say, I want to be a champion. And I do whatever it takes. The amount of hours it takes, the posing, the this, the that, the visualization, looking at training footage, looking at motivational books, reading this, reading, whatever it takes, I would do. That's the answer I want to hear from you. You can detect right away those that are going to be shaky and that will fall behind and they will not go all the way and those that are very hungry. And that hunger you have to develop because you have to create a goal for yourself, whatever that may be, a short-term goal and a long-term goal, and you got to go after that. And if you do not see it and if you do not believe it, who else will? The body is very important, but the mind is more important than the body. What's up guys, it's Martin. Welcome to Inside the Mind, this new series I'm launching where I break down the habits, practices, and beliefs of the most successful people on earth. And this video series is inspired by videos I've been posting on Instagram that have done really well. And the idea behind it is that success isn't an accident, that there are deliberate things people do that set them apart. And how can you take those strategies or beliefs or ideas or practices or whatever it is and apply them to your own life so you can become your best and get to where you want to go. And so if you're as excited about the series as I am, like this video and subscribe because today we're looking at seven time Mr. Olympia, movie star and politician Arnold Schwarzenegger. And just to give you some background before we get started, Arnold's a kid born in 1947 in war-torn Austria. And while everyone around him was satisfied with following the path set before them, he wanted to break that mold. He, he dreamt of doing something bigger and greater with his life. And so what you're gonna learn in this video is how can you take whatever goal or dream it is that you have and make it a reality? How can you be a champion in whatever it is that you do in life? This is Inside the Mind of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was brought up very strict in a little village, but there was nothing. The father was a police officer. He wanted me to go to the military and marry a Heidi or a Gretel with braids and to be happy ever after. I was very determined that I have to get out of there. I remember that I saw on the screen, you know, uh, footage of New York and uh, the high rises and by a state building. Everything seemed to me so huge. And then one day, I saw the cover of a magazine of Reg Park. And it says how Mr. Universe became Hercules. I opened up this magazine and I read through it and there was the whole plan laid out. The most important thing is that you have a vision, that you have a goal. Because without that vision and without that goal, again, you're drifting around and you're never gonna end up anywhere. People don't become successful just by accident. So you got to really have a specific order. And to me, to have that vision that I want to be Mr. Universe, that I want to be the greatest bodybuilder of all time, that was a great vision and that specifically to look like Reg Park and to be up there on that stage and to lift the trophy overhead and to win the championship over and over and over again. So that was a great goal. Half those pictures put all over the wall like I did when I was a kid. I put pictures of Rich Park and of Sonny Liston, of, of boxers and of Ali and of powerlifters and weightlifters all over my bedroom, uh, you know, uh, wall. So that every day when I go to sleep, every day when I wake up, I look at those pictures and they motivate me. You need that motivation and then therefore you have this kind of imprint in front of you all the time and you know exactly what you're chasing. The other thing that's important is, is that you got to shoot for the top. You got to go and really have big goals and think big because then you're going to get big. Then you're going to go and achieve big things. The biggest challenge most people face is they're thinking small. They think that first my goal should be this and then it should be a little bit bigger and then a little bit bigger. No, shoot for the stars because you will find out early enough when you fail. And how bad can you fail? I mean, look how far the ground is. It's not that far when you fall. In German, there's a saying, wenn schon, denn schon, which means if you do something, then go all out. you all the way in or you're all the way out. It's one or the other, but there's no gray. There's no in between. So shoot for the top, shoot for the sky, and shoot for the stars. 
don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail. You can't be paralyzed by fear or failure, or you would never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it is the right thing to do and success will come. So don't be afraid to fail. What is important is that you get up. When you fall, the winner always gets up and the loser stays down. That's what's, what's the difference. So to me, the important thing is always that when you, when you, when you fail on something, you, dust, you get up, you dust yourself off and you move on and have again a great vision of which direction you want to go. Pick another goal and keep moving forward. Well, when I went to America and I got into acting, everybody wanted me to change my name because uh, people started saying Schwarzen Schnitzel and Schwarzen Heimann Nobody could pronounce it, so they said, just call it Schwarz. So call it, call it something different, but not Schwarzenegger. But I, I felt that uh, they were complaining about everything about me, not just about the name. They say, you have a strange body, you have a strange accent, you have a strange name, forget it. You will never make it in movies. They say, well, forget about that, and they laughed. I mean, with your accent, no one has become a leading man with your accent and with your body. Look at all those bumps sticking out. What happened was uh, uh, the, the uniqueness of the name became the strong point now, and now people cannot forget the name. All of those liabilities that they talked about started turning into assets. When they did Conan the Barbarian, the director came to me and he said, if we wouldn't have you, we would have had to build one. And on Terminator, the director said, I couldn't imagine to have anyone play Terminator that wouldn't have an accent and they wouldn't have your body. I cannot imagine the line, I'll be back with a normal American accent. It works so perfectly that you have this German accent. So all of those things that they say the liabilities became an asset. The other thing is, is that you get to work your butt off. If you think that you're gonna go and accomplish something really special, and be the best in anything in the world, and you think you can do it without working, you make a big mistake. Because no matter what I did, if it was in bodybuilding or in acting, or if it is in, in, in the political arena, uh, it always took a lot, a lot of work. And you got to put out, and you got to, you know, some that make a lot of sacrifices and all this. If you're not willing to work hard, forget about it. So this is another rule that is uh, very important. And that uh, divides then one from a champion and one from not being a champion. If you can't go through this pain barrier, you make it to be a champion. If you can't go through, forget it. And I started training one hour a day, two hours a day, three hours a day. By the time I was in military service, with the age of 18, I trained four, five hours a day. And I became the youngest Mr. Universe ever the youngest world championship at the age of 20. So much for it can't be done. So that's episode one of Inside the Mind. Comment below and let me know what was your favorite insight, what you get out of this, and who do you want to see next. And if you like this video, like it and share it with someone you know. Share the inspiration and subscribe for more videos like this. I'm going to be pumping a lot more videos out that I'm really excited to share with you. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being so loyal. Thank you for sticking around. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.